open the door to my bluebird nesting box to check the growth of the baby birds, and I found this snake inside. Ooh, he looks upset. It looks like you, you caught him in a personal moment. Jokes aside, that is awful. You have a mean little predator in there and no baby birds. But hey, it's not all bad. What I see there is an opportunity to make a really cool belt. Ugh, I couldn't get out of my driveway this morning. I had the car towed and my neighbor is now pissed. Oh my god, they always are. For whatever reason, they think an exit to your driveway is a parking spot and that you are in the wrong for towing their car. And let's be honest, this is not the first time for them. They will never learn their lesson. No matter how many times they have to pick up their car and pay that 500 bucks. My man is allergic to everything. Oh, life is about to be very flavorless for you. I feel so sorry. I bet springtime is evil to you. Antihistamines are about to be your best friend, man. Get ready, this is about to be life. I went to my first car meet as a mom, and after spending hours wrapping my car, only for a girl to come up to it, laugh, and take photos of all the bad spots on my wrap where I messed up. She thought I wasn't the owner because I had a pram. Wow, I didn't know people really bullied each other like that in the car community. Granted, I've never wrapped my car, I've never really tuned my car. I would think it would be a little bit more kinder than that. Let's think of the logic here. Instead of bullying someone for messing up a first time car wrap, maybe, just maybe, you could give them pointers on how to do it well next time. Bullying leads to your community dying, it doesn't lead to growth. And let's be honest here, when someone goes out of their way to point out your mistakes and your problems, it's usually because they're trying to hide their own. Ooh, you think it still turns on? You think he can save it with some rice? The story here is pretty simple. He accidentally left his phone on the conveyor belt that was designed to cut paper, and that very sharp blade sliced very easily through that phone. My car broke down on my way to work this morning, and it had to be towed. Not five minutes after I got home, my ceiling collapsed. Well, at least it looks like everything fell in big pieces, so the cleanup shouldn't take too long. And your bookcase survived, and look at your trophies, they're okay, kinda. You know, it would have been nice for someone to tell me there was no floor support in the attic. I know for a fact that fall was crazy. I know for a fact that every second you were in the air, you thought you were absolutely going to land on your neck and die, because that is a very quick fall. There, it's a small hole, you fell fast. Accidentally left my shorts touch the floor for two seconds in the airport bathroom. The crazy thing is, is that it's not necessarily a guarantee that that's piss. You really don't know what that is, because for whatever reason, airport bathrooms have every gross fluid imaginable in them. I don't know what's going on in there, but it's always a nightmare. That has to reek. It has to. No way did any of those noxious fumes not come through the plastic. And if it hasn't, I'd be so careful throwing that away. Cause one little jostle, one little pinprick, and your whole kitchen is going to smell like lettuce and booty. And the sad thing is, is that Opie didn't realize that it was spoiled until he got home. He bought it that way. It was already old in the store. New measuring cup. All of the ink came off in the first wash. So I just have a cup. The world's most useless cup because all of the use was washed off in the dishwasher. This next clip shows a car getting sideswiped and the owner had just paid off the lease. I just broke the sugar dish that's been in my family for four generations. Look, you want to think that this guy is heavy handed, but I know how glassware works. We all know how glassware works. It just breaks. Sometimes it's just your day. You pick up a glass and it shatters. You use a glass plate and it breaks. It was your time. It survived four generations. It was bound to end with you. It was, it was time. How did you flip an earth mover? How did you do that? The only thing that comes to mind is that maybe he was driving up on one of the hills that they made of soil and it just tilted over. Maybe he just wasn't driving on flat ground and it just fell over. Now, that's just a guess, because of course, OP did not go into detail about how this happened. He just shared a picture. So you guys can go ahead and go into the comments and guess how he flipped one of the biggest vehicles on the planet 180 degrees. This next clip shows a man coming back to his apartment after evacuating from Hurricane Ian. It's a moment of truth. Well, I mean, I can already see the truth. But... 
I might not be able to open this door. Oh my god. Be very, it's very slippery. Babe, I know, I'm not a dumbass. I know. Throw like our little trash cans on for you. Ooh, this is Final Destination. This is some movie stuff, man. Are there any survivors? And yeah, that came from the back. Oh, he didn't see it coming. I guess he just didn't secure whatever that is down and whatever that is went straight through his cranium. There's no survivors, no way, no way. Someone crashed into our wall and drove off last night. An image like this really represents what being an adult is all about. Waking up in the morning to a random and very expensive bill, cause that's what this is. This person drove through the wall and just imposed a bill on these people. I don't know how expensive it's going to be to fix that, but it's not going to be $2. And it's all because somebody wanted to be selfish that night. It's all because someone wanted to be reckless. And now you have to deal with it because you're the responsible person. You see how that works? That's why being an adult sucks. So if you're a kid out there, if you're a teenager, or if you're a preteen, savor it. Savor the fact that nobody expects anything from you. This clip shows the aftermath of a mudslide somewhere in Utah. Guys, this is the back side of the house. Completely gone. So did you need the cane? Or were you too just caught up in your dementia to realize that you left your giraffe cane at the urinal? Because most people who actually need to use a cane would probably miss their cane maybe five to 10 minutes after losing it at the bathroom. They might have a little bit of a hard time getting out of the establishment, so. Whoever owns this cane is probably still stuck on the street. A few years ago, I worked at an Apple store and a fella brought in a 16 inch MacBook Pro that he bought off of Amazon. This is what Amazon shipped him. I learned that lesson a while back that certified sellers on Amazon doesn't mean anything. You will still be scammed. Uh, the amount of times that I bought Pokemon cards off of Amazon and realized most of them were resealed and none of them had hollows really was a learning moment for me that no matter where you go online to buy anything, don't trust anyone. <laughs> My wife got bitten by bed bugs in a hotel. Oh, time to burn all of your clothes. I would say get rid of all of your bags. If anything touched anything felt, get rid of it. It's done. Deep clean your hair, all of it, in all places. You can't leave any stone unturned. Seriously, with bed bugs, it sucks. I have been a lucky and blessed soul to never have to deal with it only because my parents and myself have been very diligent about cleaning our clothes after we go to a hotel. No way was there a whole nut in your Panera coffee. How did someone just drop that into your coffee and then serve that to you? It goes to show that most people just don't care. It's not even really about minimum wage workers not caring. I think it's just people in general. People just don't give a f Dale. Dale. Guess who accidentally cut through their home's fiber cable while doing some gardening? Like I said a little bit before, now you have a bill, surprise bill, and that's not going to be five bucks. It's not going to be cheap. To replace that is going to cost you everything. And why did you get that bill? Because you chose to garden. You chose to just be a human that day. Adulting, am I right? This person decided to boil some eggs at night and then made the mistake of falling asleep and they woke up to hell in a pan. I bet your kitchen smelled ridiculous in the morning and I bet the whole night it was just cracking and popping all while you were snoring, bro. <laughs> All right, I just bought a gourmet blend of mushrooms. Let's take a look at my blend. Man, this is not a blend. This is hardly a mix. Are you serious? I hope this person didn't spend a whole lot of money. That's insane. I seriously don't know how I'd feel being scammed so casually. 
Man, I can't get enough of this surprise bill trend. Look at that, you shattered your shower because you made the mistake of losing your balance. Isn't that crazy? And you can't leave it like that because you'll have insane amounts of water damage and mold growth. You have to fix that in order to shower. And you can't just skip a shower. You can't be out here funky. That's against the rules. So it looks like somebody needs to open up a new credit line. Craving biscuits and gravy this morning. Ordered some from my favorite breakfast diner, got halfway through, and it was tasting a little off. Some weird background flavor, you know? So I flipped the biscuit over and saw this. I'm never eating again. I'm just gonna fast for the rest of my life until I just disappear into the ether, until I turn to dust. Hey everyone on Reddit, just wanted to let you know I'm currently without electricity in a remote village in the Arctic. So yeah, I have like 30 minutes of heat before I, you know, turn into an icicle. Man, today is not my day. X-ray shows bacteria in the bone after recent tendon transplant in my finger. Tomorrow, I'll have my fourth surgery for an injury that was originally the size of a pinprick. Yeah, that's a pretty fuzzy and hollow bone you got there. Looks like you have some splotches on that x-ray. I hope you keep your finger, bro. My longboard broke, and I'm about five miles away from my car, so I get to carry myself and this board back. Spent 24 hours making chicken bone broth, only to make this rookie mistake. Rookie mistake? This is like a five-year-old's mistake. Everybody makes this mistake as a child and learns this crazy hard lesson. Water and glass and a freezer don't mix. It just doesn't work. You're an adult now. You think in 20 years physics have changed? No. You actually, this is the first person on this subreddit who actually deserves to have a little bit of a rough day. Oh man. I bet that feels fantastic. I envy you, genuinely. I bet it's like having a small bear cub on your face, but only with the teeth and nails. That's about it, teeth and claws. Did they even bother to cook the chicken, bro? How is the breading cooked, but the chicken is not? Did they throw a frozen chicken into some batter and then throw that into the fryer? That's the only thing that makes sense. How in the world did this happen? I know for a fact that that first bite had to be insane. The texture contrast between the crispy skin and the still alive chicken must have been ridiculous. One incorrect attempt. Try again in 1440 minutes. That's exactly one day. This man messed up his password one time and he can't use his watch for a day? Look, I like Samsung watches, man. I have one, they're awesome. They're very useful, but what is going on? Samsung is smoking crack. What's up everybody, it's your boy Aylaris, aka Panda Daddy, and I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, let me know in the comments down below, and leave a like if you liked the video. And if you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe fam. What you doing watching videos and not subscribing? And if you're old, make sure you hit that bell so you get these notifications every time. I have beaten the virus that I caught last week, thank God. So this week there's going to be a ton of content that I should have been working on, but I couldn't because my voice was out of commission. And as always, we gotta thank the Patreon supporters that make content like this possible. A big thank you to Sherry Morrison, Tron Destroy 23, The Eggs One, Fitz Chivalry, Din Corda, Code Connor Purvis, Aylaris's Mom, Declan, S16, Green Pasta Man, Squish, Rin Hex, Mr. Bean, My Golden Experience, James Tucker, Lucas Adams, Big Boy Bailey, BMX30, Cinnamon Sticks, Scott, The Fake Musician, Buckethead, Samantha Bellhart, Admin Fanneker, Zach F, Bloody Hunter, Keeley, Dunder Nas Hawk, Lady Laughs A Lot, Swiss Patreon user Noah and Catherine Taylor, thank you so much for your support. It is greatly appreciated. And if you want to help support the channel, there's two links in the description, one of my merch store and one of my Patreon. Both funds go directly into the channel so we can maintain what's happening here. And as always, stay zesty.